He was on the South Beach Comedy Festival. Let's give a warm welcome to Mr. Dave Williamson. Give it up! My favorite comedian is probably Brian Regan. I like uh, his style and you know, a lot of the jokes he has are things that I wish I could, could write. And kids are gullible these days too, man. Like just recently I bought this CD on eBay that's got nothing but ice cream truck music on it. So every day when I drive home, I crank that shit up real loud and I drive really slow. When the kids come running out of their house, I turn it off real quick, like, where did he go? I thought I heard him too. I would like an ice cream sandwich. I was gonna pay it for everybody today. How did I get into comedy? Um, I actually used to write for a magazine and I loved being a writer. And I went to a sketch theater and I tried to audition to become a sketch writer and uh, they actually hired me as a performer. So I started doing sketch comedy and from there got into stand-up. One time I got so drunk that I accidentally called 911 instead of 411. That's a messed up situation. It sounds like this. 911, what's your emergency? Uh, Miami, Florida, please. I'm gonna need the phone number for a Taco Bell that delivers. My style of comedy is very personal. I like to talk about a lot of things um, from my childhood through my colorful college career all the way to now where I have a young son and a wife and some of the hijinks that goes on uh, with them. <laughs> but the truth is, once you have a kid, you do not have to worry about home security anymore because your house becomes naturally booby-trapped with toys. <laughs> they are freaking everywhere. The greatest cat burglar of all time could be sneaking through my living room in the middle of the night and you were bound to hear, Son of a bitch! <laughs> the horse goes, <laughs> The cow goes, uh, Tonight I'm just gonna come up here and uh, do my best and try to beat the other contestants and hope that the uh, drugs that I put in their drinks kicks in before they get on stage. Uh, I actually just bought a new car. It's got that OnStar in it. Have you guys seen that shit? Yeah, okay, one person works for OnStar. Yeah! Uh, but you hit the button and the guy comes on the speakers and he's gotta help you with whatever you need help with. Well, I'd been drinking all damn day a couple weeks ago, people, and I got pulled over and I didn't know what else to do. So I was like, um, OnStar, what? <laughs> And the guy came on the speakers and he said, yes, Mr. Williamson, this is Bill from OnStar. How can I help you today? I said, Bill, listen. The shit is about to hit the fan, buddy. Don't panic. We are in this together, Bill. It's no time to really explain, but a police officer is about to ask me some questions. I'm gonna move my lips. So I'm gonna need you to answer those questions for me, Bill. There's more. He said, Mr. Williamson, I don't think that, Bill, shut the hell up. You better get me out of this or I will get you fired, so help me God. Cause I get cocky when I'm drunk. So the police officer came up and knocked on my window and I rolled it down and he said, sir, do you know why I pulled you over today? And I started moving my lips and praying to God and right on cue, Bill chimed in and he said, officer, if you let me go, I will lick every inch of your body. <laughs> Seriously? Man, I was pissed off. But I didn't get a ticket, people, so. Hey, thank you guys very much. My name's Dave Williamson. I appreciate it. Hey, this is Dave Williamson, the Moly.com comedy winner. Thank you, Moly, for $500. Apparently, I'm funny, despite what my relatives say, so make sure you go sign up to be my friend at Moly.com slash Dave Williamson comedy.